Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a win-loss chart. Now a win-loss chart just basically shows the trend of your wins and losses. And basically our green bars here show the wins and the red bars here show the losses. Now it's kind of a, a visual cue or a visual trend kind of a chart that just gives you an idea instead of having a table which shows win and loss you have it in a chart and it's kind of applicable uh, more in if you're trying to chart uh, sports uh, I, I've kind of seen a little bit more references towards sports if you want to chart a team's wins and their losses and you kind of see it a little bit better than versus a table I'll show you two ways that we can create this one using the chart itself a chart itself and the other one using the spark line feature in Excel so let's go through the first option first. I'm going to go ahead and we're in the second tab here. This is the second example, but I'll go through the first example first because it's probably a little bit easier to create a win loss chart as part of the spark line. So I think uh, Excel 2010 was the first introduction of spark lines. Uh, if you have previous versions of Excel, this probably won't work, but the second example will probably work out. But this first example is using spark lines. And in this example, let's say that we have a comparison of three teams, uh, the blue, red, and green team. And it's basically binary, um, whether they win or loss. And uh, I'm just taking it if there's probably different uh, games. Uh, this is the first game, second game, third game. Uh, they won their first game, they won their second game, they lost their third game. So basically, a one is a win and a minus one is a loss. So in creating a spark line here, all we need to do is go into the cell for our uh, respective team here and go under insert and under the spark lines group there is a command appropriately named wins and loss so when you click on that it gives us an option to select our data range so basically our data range is this right the 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 different games and here we've got our games here and where do we want to put the spark line and we just and since we're already selected the K2, we'll leave it at K2 and click OK. And once that's done, we have our spark line here. And by default, at least in my version of Excel, you have the blue and red color. And basically for uh, wins, we'll select it as green. I, I kind of would like to select green. Green is probably more appropriate for a win, so I'll go ahead and select that. And let me go ahead and uh, expand the column here so we can be better see it. And that looks more like a spark line. And so, um, once I created there in this first column, all I need to do is uh, drag it down to my other uh, rows here and it appropriately fills it out. It basically uh, copies the command set for the spark lines onto the other columns. So that's really an easy way to do it. If I wanted to kind of reformat it a little bit nicer, I had these bars here, so I'll go under home and uh, under my font group, I'll click the border and click a border there and maybe uh, put a title here, win, wins uh, slash losses all right and so i have my uh, win losses uh, my win loss chart there and it's an in cell chart um if i didn't have the capability of doing an in cell chart using the spark lines maybe i didn't have excel 2010 or greater i can create a chart so under example two here i'm going to go ahead and create a chart let me go ahead and just delete this chart here and i'll show how that's show you how it's done now it's a little bit more difficult let me go ahead and delete this because let me go ahead and start kind of from scratch from our table there and go and select, right click, delete. And what I do is I would have to go one by one for each particular team. And so let's say I have the blue team here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just select the blue team here, control C to copy, and then go into my cell down here. And then I'm gonna go paste and transpose, right? So these are the wins and losses. Now I have to separate it out into different columns. So I'm gonna make this a win column and make that a loss column. So if it's a win column, um, if if in the column that's a win, if it's a one, it's going to be a one. If it's a negative one, it'll be a zero. So there's kind of two form. There's the formula I have to write for that. So I'm going to type equal if. I'm going to go ahead and tab to get that parentheses. If this cell, let's say if that cell equals one, then I'm going to say one. Otherwise, uh, zero. Right. Uh, go ahead and press enter. And let me go ahead and double click this to fill it down. So you notice that you know it brings back the one, but if it's a negative one, it will bring back the zero. Now I'll do the same here, but but basically the opposite. So I'll type equals if let me go ahead and tab to um, start that formula. If this cell equals uh, one, then I'm kind of do the opposite. Maybe I'll just say if it equals negative one. If that's true, then make it that cell. If not, make it zero. 
and close parentheses, press enter. Now see now it's a zero because that's a one there. So let me go ahead and double click to fill that out. You see that it's a negative one here. It's going to bring back negative one instead of zero. Let me go ahead and just format this a little bit, put borders around there, make it look nicer. And all I need to do now is I need to chart this out. So I'll select this range of cells, go under insert, go under insert a column chart. And this is basically the column chart that I'm, I'm going to need for it. And again, I want to change the colors. I go ahead and select uh, these set of data, which is my wins, and just change the color. So maybe I'll just change that to, uh, actually no, let me go ahead and uh, change it within the formatting. Uh, go ahead and click on the Format tab. The Fill, I'm going to change that to green. And then this is an orange, but uh, and it's close to red, but let me change that to red instead and have it make it a little bit more red. And so the rest of it is just basically formatting the chart. Uh, I want to delete my um, access labels. Go ahead and delete that. And I can just actually select that, press delete. I can get rid of the grid lines here. I select the grid lines, press delete. And maybe my chart title, I'm going to have it indicate the blue team. Press enter. And then maybe I don't need this. This is kind of redundant here, the legend here. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Delete my access label here for the X axis or the horizontal category axis. Press select that, press delete. And the other kind of formatting that I might want to do is increase the sizes of this. Because you notice that if I shrink this, let me go ahead and shrink this a little bit, it kind of makes it a little bit harder to see. Um, maybe I can increase the the uh, plot area here, make it look a bit, little bit bigger. So there's other things I can do. I can actually increase the um, the gap and the uh, the gap width. So I'm, I selected that. I can go and press just Control One. It will bring up the Format Data Set Navigation Pane. What I want to do is maybe increase, uh, uh, decrease the gap width. Maybe I don't want a gap between uh, my bars to be that much. Uh, maybe even down to zero. That might be okay. And actually, that might kind of yeah, that might be okay. So and, and maybe in addition, let me go ahead and. Uh, get back into where I can uh, adjust the series options. Maybe the series overlap, uh, basically, uh, maybe I can increase that a little bit. And so just to kind of make it a little bit bigger when I reduce this in size, maybe 70 would be good, or 75. Let me try 75 tab. And now when I increase, decrease the size, uh, maybe do that. Uh, maybe that's still a little bit too big. Maybe do that over there. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and decrease this size here. See how that works out. So you have to do a lot of a little bit of adjustments and to see how that works. Maybe that would work out okay. Maybe I want to have a border around my um, not have a border around the chart, but just a border around uh, this particular plot area. Uh, I can go ahead and click border and maybe just kind of a, a nice little uh, gray border that might do. And then for the uh, chart itself don't have a border, maybe not have a border there. Let me go ahead and click outside of the chart. And so actually that might look okay. Uh, maybe make this a little bit uh, smaller, maybe uh, reduce the, the gap. Let me click on one of these, go back to the series option here, and maybe the gap width, maybe make it a little bit a little bit more bigger, maybe like uh, 60, All right? And that gives us a win-loss chart, which basically is a chart now because we're using the charting engine for Excel. And so we'd have to do this separately for each uh, each one of these other teams, but that is another way that we can create a win-loss chart. So the first way we do it, if we've got Excel 2010 or greater, we can use the Sparkline feature in Excel. If we don't have 2010 or greater, uh, maybe 20, 2007 uh, or less, uh, we can actually chart it out and we have to create a chart for that win-loss uh, chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.